Howard Stern calls out Oprah Winfrey for showing off her lavish lifestyle. Oprah, I, I don't know, Oprah's not embarrassed by her wealth at all. She loves showing it off on Instagram. It's mind-blowing. You, When you follow her on Instagram, you see her estates, her gardens, the people who will service her, you know. Service it's, her? She's not a car. Well, I'm, well she kind of is. She's got uh, servants and, like, people cooking and... It's a lot. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, Winfrey posts photos of her life to social media, which Stern thinks is ostentatious. And here's the thing that's kind of funny, right? We're talking about two extremely wealthy individuals, right? It's just like, it's just crazy, right? I just think it's kind of like a funny story that you have Howard Stern who was a shock jock, that's how he became popular, that's how he made his money, right? Basically judging Oprah Winfrey, whose whole rise to fame is like, you get a car, you get a car, you get a free item, blah, 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 talk show nonsense. It's just like, it's all basically stupid, right? Because both of these individuals have made millions of dollars gathering attention in pretty dumb ways, right? But also, here's the thing too, right? If you do end up making a lot of money, go enjoy that money, right? Who cares what another person says about how you spend the money that you actually earned? regardless of how you earned it, right? Now, obviously, hopefully you earned it in a good way, but still, if you worked hard, made a lot of money, it shouldn't really matter. Now, the weird thing about Oprah Winfrey specifically is that for some reason, I think she tends to basically brag about potentially hiring people that are white, Now, I don't know if that's truly the case, but there's a lot of rumors that she likes to brag about that, which is kind of weird, but let's continue. So the radio host, accused show host, actress, producer Winfrey of showing off on social media. According to Forbes, Winfrey has a net worth of $2.5 billion, a combination of her talk show success, TV shows, and brand ambassadorships. Oh, by the way, I do recall reading a story about, there used to be like a Winfrey school in Africa, and apparently it was a whole bunch of crap, right? Basically, people never really got their books, like the students never really got their books, they never really could actually get a good education, even at that school, like it was a really bad fiasco. So even when she like portrays like she's actually doing something very charitable it's not really what it seems but that's the same thing with like a lot of these like super wealthy individuals is like they say that they're doing something good or like they're kind of like trying to portray an image of them being good human beings but if you were to like pry a few layers of that onion you'll see just how rotten it might actually be So Stern continues saying, the famed talk show host shows how to be rich and likes to show it off, which is something I'm not comfortable with, he said. I don't think that people should show off their wealth. Which is interesting, because here's the thing. Personally, I don't think there's anything wrong with someone, like, necessarily showing off their wealth. Now, if someone's, like, showing off their wealth because they're trying to basically rub it into other people's faces, like, hey, I'm better than you, that's pretty effed up. But if someone is basically showing their wealth in terms of, like, hey, like, I feel like I've made it. I want to have fun. I want to share this experience with other people, right? I want to see what – I want to share what it looks like to live this life for people that – may never actually get 
to experience this, right? Like, so for example, let's say that you made enough money to where you could buy a Lamborghini Huracan, right? As a, like an example. Is it so bad to want to like record yourself driving that Lambo around, showing the different features about it, showing what it's like to like live with it or experience with it? the bad stuff, the positive stuff, the fun stuff, the negative stuff, right? Wouldn't that be kind of like a nice perspective for people to see that may never actually get the chance to even experience that sort of thing, right? So that's my perspective on it. I I think it could be done in a way where you're not basically being a dick, but you're still enjoying your life, you're having fun, and people could just basically share in the experience in some form. Right, maybe not directly, but basically, they could be like living through your point of view, you know. So Quiver has disagreed, arguing she's just giving fans a peek inside her life using social media. Oprah's just showing you her life; she's not showing off. She said, with Stern firing back that she's lacking self-awareness. Well, you got to be a little self-aware and know that there are people struggling out there, Robin, he said. You got to. You got to kind of think about people who don't have, I guess, money to eat. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on. You got to be a little bit aware of this. And here's the thing. I understand that perspective. And here's the thing. I don't really like Howard Stern or Oprah Winfrey. But I do like his perspective on that specific situation, right? Because you got to keep in mind... Inflation is basically at an all-time high. People are living paycheck to paycheck more often. Like, people are struggling. Like, people are really struggling right now. So, here's the thing. The majority of her fans are probably not people that have a lot of money, especially with the type of shows that she always had or promoted, the TV show, talk shows, whatever. A lot of, like, lower-income people probably watched those shows and enjoyed that content. So it's like, your audience is probably filled with people, like, are probably, like, majority-wise, filled with people that don't really make a good amount of money, that may be living paycheck to paycheck, and you're basically, not necessarily bragging, in a sense, directly, but you're practically, like, kicking them while they're down, mentally, right? Right? Not directly, but mentally, because they're going to like see your life, you're like seeing how well you're doing, and then they may not even be able to buy the groceries that they bought the week prior. So it's just something to really think about. So I understand Howard Stern's perspective perspective on it, but at the same time, we're also talking about someone who had the financial capabilities to literally never really leave his house for years during the pandemic. Like, think about that. Not many people can do that, right? Not many people can just not leave their house and still be healthy, still live a life. A lot of people have to go and work and potentially have to go and work and work as something that they just don't like doing. So let's check out some of these comments on this. Let's see. This hermit recluse germ freak needs to shut his oversized and infected hole. He's nothing more than a grumpy old man. Well, that's pretty rude. Don't know if the shill is correct or not. I practice censorship in the manner the founders intended and click off not just everything Oprah, but also everything Howie. Let's see. Let's see. Think Howard is a little bit jealous because he's not a billionaire yet. After all, he's only worth six hundred and fifty million, give or take a million. Well, no, here's the thing. I think the biggest thing about Howard Stern is that he's probably very jealous of only one individual, which is Joe Rogan. Because Joe Rogan, in terms of popularity, in terms of audience size, has completely eclipsed Howard Stern. And that probably destroys him on the inside. 
Not the money, but the popularity. The mainstream pull. So let the people who are turned on by whatever the rich do be happy in what they get to see. I don't care who you are. If you had that kind of money, you'd be doing the same thing. I guess Howard needs something to keep his name on page six because he ain't as big as a commodity as he used to be. Now, here's the thing. If I was as rich as, I don't know, Howard Stern or Oprah Winfrey, which is like $2.5 billion, like dear Lord, what I would probably do is probably buy a completely souped up muscle car, maybe like a Hellcat Challenger, right? Or buy like a underground racing stage two Lamborghini Huracan, right? And just like have a super fun time daily driving those vehicles everywhere using basically any excuse to drive those cars like for example like oh you gotta get milk okay i'll go get milk for you even though it might be like a 30 minute drive 40 minute drive i'll get that milk for you right like i'd use basically any excuse to just drive if i had that type of money let's see i agree most billionaires take buffett or even dr dre and Jay-Z don't show off their houses and cars and throw money around. They do it quietly. Melody Hobson, who's married to Lucas, doesn't flaunt her wealth. Oprah needs to stop. We know who you and what you have. I'm not a big fan of Howard as I used to be because life got in the way, raising a family, etc. But those who criticize him just don't get him and what his act represented. Those who superficially say he's a moron or just want attention are simple people. Howard is as real as they come. He's totally correct about Oprah and every other pretentious show off on social media. While there are those who say it doesn't bother me, there are others painfully struggling, and don't be foolish and lose sight of those. Being lavish is one thing, but being self-aware is another. Okay, interesting. Let's see... Let's see, so, based on past comments from Oprah, she apparently likes showing off how she has white people working for her. That's probably what this is about. Okay, interesting. I believe he makes nearly $100 million per year. I think he feels quite relevant. Apparently, Series XM is paying a lot of people a lot of money. <laughs> I don't have much good to say about Stern, but I'll give him that he's never flaunted his wealth. Now, here's the thing. I don't recall there being a time that he's ever flaunted his wealth, which is pretty cool to see that he hasn't really done that. But at the same time, like everyone knows that you are beyond filthy rich, like right? beyond filthy rich, which this is the sad reality, right? Like when you have the type of money that he has, politically speaking, you're going to make comments that just don't relate to basically the masses, right? Because I believe he was pretty pro-lockdown. So the problem with that, there's a lot of people that just can't survive during this stuff. I mean, like right now in China, they're doing like the zero COVID policy and it's completely destroying people's lives. Right, but Howard Stern would probably be pro that, which is a scary thing, but it wouldn't really affect him because he's filthy rich. So it's just something to really keep in mind too. Like even though the comment that he is making is good in terms of 
Oprah, he still will make other comments that are just basically off base, like, what are you doing? Like, you are coming from a perspective of someone who has basically unlimited funds. You're not a you're not part of the common man. Let's see. So Howard has been a real estate show off for many years. Triplex in New York, mansion in the Hamptons, and another mansion in Florida. If he didn't announce his wealth on the air, I would not be aware of his holdings. So if he didn't announce his real estate on his show, which I listen to often enough that I now know about it, since Oprah is not the only one lacking any self-awareness. Yeah. I used to be a big Stern fan back when he was funny and thought he had mental problems. But he was like the rest of us. Now he is not funny, he has serious mental problems, and he is not like the rest of us whatsoever. He changed into a liberal, another word for communist, and he is a rich guy who feels guilty about it. Hey, Howie, you have always thrown your wealth up to others, a big show-off. What changed now that you've become a progressive? It's too gosh for you now? So I guess he maybe has done it before? Interesting. Feel free to give your thoughts on this. If you've listened to Howard Stern from the very beginning, feel free to give your thoughts. Because maybe in the early start of his career, when he started to make good money, he flaunted it. Maybe he did. I have no clue. Feel free to give your thoughts.